Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, we are going to do a silhouette style rock today. So I'm starting with just a plain rock. This does not have a base coat on it. And we are going to blend together kind of a night sky. I'm going into um, a horizon where we're, we're going to add a little something to our rock. So I'm going to start by adding on my first layer of paint. Um, I've got my dark blue, light blue, and black. So I'm gonna actually create my night scene right here on my rock. Most of it is gonna be this dark blue color, but I do want it to blend a little bit um, on my rock. Now, depending on whether or not you have a base coat on your rock is how your pens are going to um, act on your rock, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go right into my blue here. Don't worry about getting it on your on your tip, just like that. And we're gonna just blend like that right on our rock. Um, if you have a base coat, you should usually be able to go on like this. If you have a more porous rock, you might need to use a little a brush to blend, and I might even use a little brush to blend as well. Now, just take and doodle off the tip of your pen to get that other color off. I'm gonna go right back into my dark blue on top of where I was at, and I'm gonna go right into that blue. And I'm actually going to kind of pull that up and down. There we go. And it'll kind of help fade it towards the bottom here. It'll be a little bit lighter along the horizon like the sun maybe just went down a bit ago. And I'm going to take a little bit of black. I don't even have my big one. Just a little black way up here at the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my blue. I'm going to start on my blue here and then come up and meet the black kind of blend it back down you're gonna meet your black and then blend it down into your blue and i've got a funky little bump on my rock right here so i'm going to kind of fill it in just kind of wiggle that paint down in there and i might have to bring some black over there to finish that spot off Oop, that's my extra fine. I don't want that one. Just get a little dab of black in there, just so that when I go back with the blue, I can kind of blend it into that dark blue color. Okay. And I'm going to pull this color off to the side a little bit. Some of this bottom is going to end up getting covered anyways with our picture. Okay. Now, if you do not like the way that your colors have blended together, um, you can also take a brush. Let me get that black off my tip. Okay. You can also take a brush. Now, do not get it super wet. All you do is you dunk it in your water and actually take most of the excess water back off on a paper towel and very lightly, and I mean extremely lightly, the very tip, tip, tips of your bristles, you can kind of pull that color to blend that color a little bit if you've got an edge or two that you don't think blended enough. You could always add more water. If you put too much on your pen or your brush, you can end up wiping off your paint. So I'm just using ever so light touch there to finish off my blending. Okay, so we've got our backdrop here. I'm gonna give that a quick second to dry. Rinse off my brush here real quick so it stays nice and clean. So we're gonna let that dry. I'm going to add my land on my rock. And I dabbed my pen over here and I stuck my wrist right in it. All right, so I'm gonna add the bottom part of my silhouette here, which will be my land. So I'm gonna have it kind of bump its way along the bottom here. I never try to do a complete straight line because it's very rare that it would be a complete straight line. But since it's in the forefront of our silhouette, it'd be nice and dark. Just gonna fill that in. Maybe there's 
a hill or a mountain over here on this side. Now, I've got my extra fine tip for doing my details. Okay, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna draw. Now with the silhouette, you don't need a whole lot of details, but just like one or two minor ones will help tell your story. So I'm going to make a staff, one, and somebody holding it. Very simple. You don't have to get a lot of details. One, two, and three. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can hear my dog snoring. So three little staffs, three little shepherds. And I can draw a couple little Lumps, like, you know, they have their sheep following them, maybe. Okay. And then over here, they're on their way, right? So over here, we're going to draw a very simple, very simple stable here. Just like so. And a cross beam there. Again, don't worry about having fancy, fancy details. But there is one major detail that this rock needs, right? I am going to use my gold. If you don't have gold, Feel free to use yellow and my gold in my sky. Try not to shake my desk too much while I shake up my gold here. All right. So up in the sky, we need our nice. Wow, my gold is really wet. That went on really watery. I'm actually gonna tilt my rock back the other way. It is super watery, my goodness. Let's see if I can get some of this off of here. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and kinda dab, dab, dab that. Try that again, that can be some of the glow. That's so funny because on my paper, it looks nice and thin. Maybe because it was my first stripe. Maybe my rock is still a little bit wet because it kind of did it again. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna give it a moment to dry. Maybe my rock itself is a little bit damp because look how nice and thin my lines are on my paper. On my rock, not so much. So, okay, so I wiped this off a little bit because I didn't like the way it was looking. Cause... So what I'm gonna do actually, now that this is kind of dry, I'm gonna go in with my blue and I'm very carefully going to just kind of a couple dabs on here, very lightly, a couple dabs of black on here. And I'm going to do, just with my finger, I'm going to kind of dab, dab, dab it to blend it. And I'm going to do that a couple times, maybe even rub a little bit, just because I don't like how it looks. And... Can't re-blend the entire rock, but we can at least re-blend this spot a little bit. Just enough that you won't see our mistake. There we go. You can slightly, slightly see it on there. Maybe we should go with white anyways. I don't know that that gold was quite gonna pop enough. So let's go with white. A bright white star in the sky. So again, we're just gonna do a line down. See, that's nice and skinny. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's Jesus, but I always start my star when I'm doing um, a nativity, like a cross. And then I'm gonna cross those two. 
I am pulling a little blue up because I didn't let that dry. So if you do, just doodle it off. There we go. Add a couple other stars in the sky. Just like that. And there we go. I'm gonna do another layer of white on here once this gets dry just because it's very blue looking at the moment. Let's see, you've got your nice shepherds coming. I think it's a beautiful rock to make for the holidays. There we go. Again, doodle off that tip. If you get a color, bit of blue on it, it will, it will draw right off. Oh, jeez. I'm on a roll today, you guys. Well, luckily that had time to dry. Dampen my finger just a smidge. I'll go back over my shepherd. Well, this is why I show you every step of the video. There we go. All right, now we gotta fix our shepherd. I gave him a streak now. There we go. Okay. All right. I think we're done. I might, I'm going to touch up that star one more time with white, but I can show you that in the final picture. But it's just a cute, simple nativity scene that you can do with a nice faded night sky lovely rock that you can recreate so if you give this one a try come back share it in the comments again I'll take a picture of this when it dries and I fix that star with one more coat of white once it's dry dry and we will call it good you all have a wonderful day bye bye everybody